the gapes, or in layman's terms, a really big hole, was created around February of 2014. A player named Victor96 began digging a hole all the way to bedrock. Some of his friends joined him like Cytotoxic T-Cell, X0XP, James Russells, and a few others, but due to being close to an ocean, progress stopped. The small group of players banded together to create another gape in a better location, which was about 100 meters away. It started with a hole being dug, with some chests as storage. As more players joined, a three-story castle-themed fort was built around X-1000, Z-1000, which held the players and their items. The hole being dug was around 128 by 128 meters, and would later name it Saito's Gape, since it was named after Cytotoxic T-Cell as a lewd joke and play on words. The gape also had a lot of supplies that included crop and animal farms, but in true 2 b 2 t fashion, a mix of betrayal, attacks, and lava casts ended the project quickly. The gape would lay dormant for many, many months. One day, James Russells was at 700 base and decided to venture back to the gape since it was part of his regular travels. Upon his approach to the gape, a player's name appeared on his radar. Here he met the self-named player 2B2T, who explained to James that he had been working on restoring the gape. James decided to help him, and before long, they had more players helping with the reconstruction. One by one, the member list started to grow. One of the first few players were Lemonfoot, Mars Argo, Lil Chuckster, Khaleesi, and FTSQR. But after a few weeks, more players started to trickle in. These players were Coconut4, Luizi, Ian5281, Alan Nassam, Cupcakeist, and Arizona Admin. In total, there were around 14 players at the gate. They added a skywalk in the middle called the Virtual Plaza, and it was used to look down on the progress of the gape. However, they would never be able to finish due to the group losing interest after some time and it being too close to spawn. The gape would eventually end up being lava casted, filling most of the holes with cobblestone. This did not stop the group, as they picked up their belongings and moved on far from spawn. This is where they ventured out to create a bigger, better gape. The sequel that is known as Gape 2.0. Gape 2.0, or also known as Khaleesi's Gape, was founded around July 2014. It was known as Khaleesi's Gape since it was tradition of naming the Gapes after the girls of the group. Gape 2.0 was built in new terrain, far from spawn. The coordinates were X486000, Z38000. When the group first got there, they built a bunker, storage area, and sign wall. This gate was also going to be 128 by 128 meters, but would later be extended to 254 by 254 meters. It was estimated that they would have to mine 1,400,000 blocks for this gate. Since most of the members played daily, it took around 3 to 5 weeks in total to complete the mining and add stairs, a sailor moon pixel art on the wall, and grass growing at the bottom of the gate. However, a small issue that this gate had was that the negative 4,444 nether highway went right through their portal at the base. James removed the portal and extended the highway, placing a fake lava flow at the end along with some items. One day, a player named IMBJR went base hunting and said in chat he was on the negative 4444 nether highway. The group members were worried that he would find the base. IMBJR eventually found the end of the highway and found the items. He concluded someone died digging the highway and he went back to spawn. Gate 2.0 eventually turned into a sufficient base after a couple of months with animal farms, a rail duplicator, villager farms, horse breeding center, and so much more. They also added more structures inside the bunker, like an automated item sorter, mining area, and brewing room. They also built a massive castle called the Temple of Lights, or was also known as Khaleesi's Castle of Lights, but it was never finished. The base had almost everything, which made the players get bored. As time went by, the interest to stay at Gate 2.0 started to decline. After James Russells and Khaleesi met Sato86 on another server called 3B3, and after making a base called Nova, Sato invited them and the group to Fenware. James would stay at Gate 2.0 to finish off some things, and then went to Fenware. This led to the Gate 2.0 to be left unsupervised, allowing Gate 2.0 to be griefed throughout the years. In late 2015, Victor96, Khaleesi, and a few other Gabe members moved to the monastery and renamed it to Gabe Haven, following the fall of Legion Gabe 2.0. Both Gabe projects show that with a lot of work and dedication, players can build pretty much anything on a server like 2B2T, or pretty much anywhere on Minecraft. 
Even if the goal for the Gapes was to dig a massive hole to bedrock, it brought many players together and created friendships along the way. Thanks for watching. I would like to thank James Russells for the information for this video. Leave a like and maybe consider subscribing for more information like this in the future. Anyway guys, stay fast and see you guys next time.